An NSF-funded international team of archaeologists has begun to piece together an account of survival in the harsh subarctic winter by crew members of the 19th century Russian-American company frigate Neva. After a grueling three-month voyage, the vessel wrecked near Alaska's Sitka Island in January of 1813, just short of its destination. I hope that uh, after three years of planning and in consultation, we will find something interesting and can contribute to uh, uh, public education so we can better understand the NEVA and the wreck. Uh, and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to make a distinction between the lore of the sea and scientific findings. The wreck has been the stuff of stories and legends, but with few official accounts over the past two centuries. In July, the research team discovered a series of hearths with early 19th century artifacts such as gunflints, musket balls, pieces of modified sheet copper, a Russian axe, and a fish hook fashioned from copper. Team leader Dave McMahon says the nature of the artifacts seems to indicate that the 26 crew members who made it ashore struggled to survive using materials that washed up from the wreck. You know, we, we did some beach survey and then we went into the uplands and we found caches of Russian axes where we predicted the survivor camp should be, but we found two caches of, uh, of uh, Russian axes, uh, nine total, and they were stacked as if they had been in a crate. Until their rescue almost a month later, the survivors improvised by whittling down musket balls to fit a smaller caliber weapon, like a pistol, or by using gun flints to start fires. Artifacts found did not include ceramics, glass, or other materials often associated with a settlement. While there is no official record regarding the wreck or survival, the team feels its finds will help to fill those gaps. Working closely with the U.S. Forest Service and an Alaska Native group, the Sitka Tribe of Alaska, the team hopes to continue the investigation next year at the suspected survivor camp.